Welcome to the long-awaited My Fair Classic video. It's been a long time promised, and for many reasons, many of which can be found on my Instagram page, it just hasn't happened. Till now. Welcome back to the Man Cave. In this video, I'll be taking a look at My Fair Classic cards and what you can do with one and a Proxmark. The My Fair Classic is where a lot of RFID security, for myself at least, started. My Proxmark journey starts with a My Fair Classic based discount card that kept on getting physically broken. And every time I wanted a replacement card, it was five pounds to replace. And being the tight git that I am, instead of spending five pounds on a card, I spent several hundred pounds and a lot of time learning how to compromise and copy that card. The My Fair Classic was also the card that started a lot of the RFID hacking stories when Dutch researchers realised that the local transport system used a My Fair Classic. The advantage that we have today is that we are standing on the shoulders of giants, given all the research that has gone in before. My Fair Classic cards were originally produced by the Dutch electronics giant NXP, though today the technology is old and many cards are cheap Chinese clones. However, they remain one of the most common cards in use and certainly one of the cards that you will see most often. I have seen them in use everywhere from hotel door locks to clay pigeon shooting machines. They really are everywhere. So what can you do with a My Fair Classic? Well, if you can break the encryption, you can do what you want. As not only can you copy the card, you can also modify the data on the card. And if the system that's using the card stores values, say how much credit you have in the vending machine, you can set this to an arbitrary amount. Note that this is two attacks here, the direct attack on the card and the attack on the implementation of the card. Diverting for a second, attacks on the card can be much more fun. Not only can some systems store the only copy on the card, allowing you to change values on the card and therefore the system, but some systems do not even inspect the card, relying wholly on the serial number of the card for their authentication. That means if we can copy the serial number and make a copied card that only shares a serial number, we have the access we need. Now this is much more common than you think, and commonly pops up on building access systems the world over. No cracking needed, just copy the serial number and go. Now, on to how to crack the cards. This video will focus on a My Fair Classic 1K card. There are many variants of the Classic differing in size as well as how difficult they are to crack. However, all are crackable. Now I'm going to assume that you have your own Proxmark environment set up and you're familiar with the basic commands. In this video I'll be using a Proxmark RDV4 with the latest Iceman firmware on it. But if you have another Proxmark, the basic command should be translatable. So let's start at the beginning. So once you've got your card and your Proxmark is set up and ready to go, we're going to issue some commands. Now the rest of this video is going to be on the laptop and I'm just going to be talking over the top. And uh, just do an HF uh, MF search, HF, HF search in fact. And you can see an HF search there has just found a standard MyFair classic card used the world over in hotels. So let's just do an HF MF. So now I'm in high, high frequency in MyFair commands. And I'm going to check and I'm going to check all sectors on a 1K card. I don't know anything else about the card and I'm going to dump it to memory. So there are my default keys there. I actually have another dictionary which has even more default keys. There we are. So in actual fact, what this has now found is it's actually found all of the keys on the B sector and on A it's actually found two and three, keys two and key three. So now let's proceed on to do and uh, H, F. Ooh. And we're actually gonna do a standard um, 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 nested. Now I know that it's a 1K card, and I know that um, from what I just saw, that block B and 
little dump. So what we're going to do there is we're going to use um, high frequency, my fair, nested. Uh, I know that it's a 1K cog, so I've looked. I know that key 0B is all Fs, because we saw that in the output of the previous command. So let's go straight in and see what we can do. So now it's just going through, and it's now just filled in all of the rest of the sectors. So you can see the natural fact there's only actually two other keys there. There's AEE61 and 2A, 2C1, 3CC, whatever it is. So actually now we've now, this is basically all of the uh, crypto keys for both the A and the B stream. So now I can do an HF uh, MF dump. And that's now going to read all the blocks from the card. On a 4K card, this takes even longer. There we are, all done. Now the first thing you need to be able to do after you've dumped the card is to make a copy of the card. Now I have some very, very well-worn um, um, Chinese magic cards. I need to buy some more. But anyway, let's start off with this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need the serial number of the card and the serial number of my of my existing card, my, 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 my actual hotel access card, is 8DC8DBBF. And now if I just double check, run the same command on my Chinese magic tag, you can see it's 01020304, and the ATQA and the SAC are totally different. So the first thing I want to do is set these commands, set these things back. You can see I've been formatting and remagicking this card. And I'm actually going to run this, which is to HFMFC set UID. That's the serial number. And then 0004 and 08 are the ATQA and the SAC that I want. These are the ones I want, not 01020304098. I want the real numbers. So let's put these straight in. So that's now written the thing in. And if I quickly do an HF search, you'll notice this one will come up as, as a MyFair Classic with the ATQA and the SAC being identical. So let us do an HFMF restore. Now this should just restore the card straight back. And that restores it straight back, straight over the Chinese card. So now this little Chinese card Chinese magic card will now actually be a complete replicant of my existing hotel card. And uh, yeah, I can use it for entering rooms and doing whatever I want to be able to do. So that's it for today. In a later video, I will show you how to use more advanced attacks, such as Dark Side and all the other ones, etc., to start to crack more difficult cards. If you have access to an RDV4 and the latest Iceman build, you can also play with the Auto Pawn command that in one way takes out all the fun of cracking cards, but is brutally effective. Till next time, have fun, learn lots, and if you advise people on installing building access systems, please take heed, it doesn't need to be this easy.